Congratulations on your accepted offer and executed contract. That's the first step in a chain of events that will lead to you getting a new set of keys. Now let's cover the stops along the way so that you can be better prepared when the time comes. Now that we're under contract, it's imperative that you turn in all required documentation to your mortgage lender to prevent delays. Next, we'll order an inspection from one of our trusted home inspectors. They will inspect the house from roof to foundation and everything in between. Once the inspection is complete, you will receive a report with all faults and deficiencies that were found. From that inspection report, we will compile a list of repairs and request that the seller have them completed prior to closing if necessary. Since this is a negotiation, the sellers may refuse to complete the requested repairs. All of this should take place during our option period, which is the time we agreed to in the sales contract for us to examine the property and exercise our option to move forward or terminate the transaction. Once we agree to repairs, it's time to order the survey. The survey is a drawing of the boundaries and improvements on the property ordered by the lender on your behalf. The appraisal is your protection against paying too much for the property. The appraiser will determine the final value of the home as it relates to your transaction. Next, we'll order a wood destroying insect inspection to make sure there are no active termites. This is not a requirement on all loan types, but we recommend getting it done. If termites are found, typically it's the seller's responsibility to have them remediated. After the wood destroying insect inspection, you will choose a home warranty which will protect your appliances and AC. Having a home warranty is not a requirement, but it's always a good idea. Once all these steps have been completed and your mortgage lender gives you a clear to close, we will do your final walkthrough of the home to make sure all repairs are done and the property is still intact. This is done a few days before closing to allow reaction time if problems arise. Finally, there's closing. Closing consists of two steps. First, both parties will sign closing documents. Then the mortgage lender will review all documents for accuracy before they approve funding. Once funding is approved, the home is officially yours and this process is complete. Good luck.